Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The topics to be covered in this chapter are Introduction Angle sum property of quadrilaterals Types of quadrilaterals Properties of a parallelogram Condition for a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram the midpoint theorem and finally we will conclude with summary. The chapter is all about quadrilateral. So what is quadrilateral? See quadri means four and lateral means sides. Okay. So definition says that any closed figure with four sides polygon with four sides so that is the literal meaning of this as per the actual name quadrilateral it has to be a closed You see, this has four sides, this is a square, this has four sides, this is a rectangle, this also has four sides, this is trapezium, this has four sides, this is parallelogram, this also has four sides, this is kites. And all these are quadrilateral. We will study about these in detail. Also note that each of these has four vertices. You see, this has four vertices. You take this, it has four vertices. So you can say four sides or four vertices or if you see each of these has four angles one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? So you can say four vertices, four sides or four angles. So any closed figure or a polygon which has four sides or four vertices or four angles that is called quadrilateral. Please note it has to be closed. Example, this case 1, 2, 3 and 4. It has 4 sides 1, 2, 3, 4. It is not closed. So it will not be quadrilateral. Okay. So now if you see, when you say 4 vertices, let's see if we have 4 points, how can we draw these 4 points? So there are various ways of drawing these four points. So one option is let's draw one, two, three, four points in a straight line, right? So this is an example of collinear, all in the same line. Or what we can have is we can have three points in a one line and one point somewhere outside, right? So in this case also we have four points and in this case I get a triangle and here I have three collinear points here all points were collinear other scenario is let's we have let's have two points as collinear other two points we can have somewhere like this okay so what you get is if you join these what you get is a quadrilateral here two collinear points You can join in any way. For example, we have three points like this. You can join them in this fashion. Or the same point which I drew, I can join them in this pattern. Both are actually quadrilateral, four sides. Okay, so see, typically, the definition of quadrilateral is it has four sides, four vertices, and four angles, or four angles. And each of these actually, if you note, will have two diagonals. Each of these will have two diagonals. These are all by observation, right? We took some quadrilateral and, and we observed that it will have four sides, four vertices, four angles and two diagonals. And the way we draw quadrilateral using points is if you take four points and all these four points are 
collinear then you get a line if you take four points three points are collinear and one is outside you get triangle if you take four points and none of the, only two points are collinear because two points has to be collinear if you draw one point the other point you draw that will you can actually form a straight line with that so two points are always collinear if you draw only two points so in that case uh, if two points are collinear there is a basic minimum uh, criteria and other two points are not in the same line then what you get is a quadrilateral okay so we can't say that all this point four points are non collinear because it is not possible if you have if you draw two points you can actually draw a line from these two points so any two points that will be collinear okay so we talk about collinearity only when we talk about more than two points So that is all about quadrilateral. The next question is why should we study quadrilateral? Around us, we see a lot of figures that are quadrilateral. Actually, to start with blackboard, the blackboard which you see actually is typically a rectangle, and that is nothing but a quadrilateral. It has four sides: one, two, three, four. Four vertices: one, two, three, four. Four angles: one, two, three, four. And you can actually draw two diagonals. So it is nothing but a quadrilateral. the computer screen you see is again if you see this is a quadrilateral 1 2 3 4 sides 2 3 4 sides right quadrilateral the book if you see a lot of quadrilateral here one quadrilateral is this one quadrilateral you find here one quadrilateral you find here in fact each of the page in the book is typically a quadrilateral the windows you see this is a square this whole thing is a rectangle and both square and rectangle we know is quadrilateral it has four sides the kites we fly this is quadrilateral you see this is there's four sides 1 2 and 3 and 4 okay the table the table which we use in our day to day life it is this is the, the top of the table is nothing but a quadrilateral the tv screen this is quadrilateral the bed you see typically this is quadrilateral okay the mobile phone which we use when you see this is also typically quadrilateral so a lot of things around us are actually quadrilateral in shape and it is good to understand the properties of quadrilateral so that we can actually develop these things in a better way we can find the area of these stuff we can try to find minimize it so in, we can apply these uh, concepts in uh, architecture in field of science when you want to develop better things for us okay so as i have told that we will study some properties of quadrilateral let's start with the first property called angle sum property of a quadrilateral it is observed that the sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree so you have four angles in a quadrilateral and let me name it 1 2 3 4 so actually you can draw this in a piece of paper angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 if you add this what you get is 360 degree you can try this on your own you can draw as many quadrilateral you want you can draw any kind of quadrilateral take the protractor and measure all these angles you will see that some of these angle is 360 degree so this is a theorem now this is a theorem now since this is a theorem we have to prove it how can we prove it see proving this is pretty easy you just have to draw one diagonal So if we draw this diagonal now, you see. So angle four I have broken into let's suppose five and six, and this becomes seven and eight. Let's suppose. Okay. So here angle four is nothing but angle five plus angle six, and angle two is nothing but angle seven plus angle eight. Correct. So we have to prove this. So let's start this. Angle one plus angle two plus angle three plus angle four 
is equal to what? So angle one plus angle two. So two I can break into seven and eight. So angle one plus angle two is nothing but angle seven plus angle eight. Angle three and angle four is nothing but angle five plus angle six. Correct? This is one. And this is two. So I can say using one and two. So you get this equation. Now if you see angle one plus seven plus five, you merge in one group. Angle one plus angle seven plus angle five. This is one group. One seven five. The remaining eight three six is another group. Angle three plus angle eight plus angle six is another group. Now if you see angle one plus seven plus five is what? They are nothing but angle of this triangle. So let me give this some name. A B C D. Right. So angle one plus angle seven plus angle five is nothing but angles of the triangle ABD, and that is nothing but one eighty degree. Similarly, three plus eight plus six is nothing but angles of the triangle BCD, and that is one eighty degree. We have proved this angle sum property of triangle. So one eighty plus one eighty is three sixty degree. Thus, we have proved that sum of angle of a quadrilateral is always three sixty degree. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.